top American squads sick, in the sick. game right now. Nice, nice. What about you? Early TP. Doing the same, actually. That's good. Coincidentally, yeah. First game was a complete stomp in favor of NP. Yep. They actually spot... What is SV... Does SVG see him? I'm not actually sure. I don't think they see each other. Oh, when he saw him. Gonna... Is he doing a jungle ward here? Okay. He is. Very nice. He's still smoked up. They're not gonna see him, and... It's away with it. But yeah, this is a... This is game two of a best of three in the upper bracket. First round. I, I like this. We, like? Yeah, I actually like. I like MPs. We've seen a lot of carry venge, especially. I know NP and FDL play in scrim a lot. We've seen a lot of Biza venge, and like, it's just so much early game, ten to twenty minute team fight from NP. And now that they have that aggressive jungle ward, they're gonna zone out Moon probably, and then just follow him to the jungle when he leaves because they have vision of him. So I like the early game already from NP. And this top rune. Are we gonna actually have a battle here? I doubt it. I mean, we can go Ion Shell, Sand King with a Burrow Strike, but... Well, Weeha, he really wants that rune. They could get a freebie bottom if they really want. And I think they're gonna choose to play it passive, opposed to trying to fight. Of course, I think Alchemist level 1 is actually amazing fighting with uh, Acid Spray. spray yeah. But you kinda don't wanna do that at the same time. You don't want it, unless you can secure like 3 kills and the rune. And it looks like Weeha picked up the correct Ooh. skill point, by the way. He's He's missed that quite a few times in the past in scrims. He's and ready I... now, and he got boots. He went the yeah. boots first right after he bought him, so not even nice. willing about the bottle. Have you ever seen a 1v1 Alchemist versus Terrorblade mid? Not in some time. I'm sure I have. I know. I'm sure Eternal Envy wins this while his first metamorphosis is going on, and then after that, once Weeha gets just able to hit creeps, it's easier. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a... Potential courier snipe by Soxa. He misses out though. Hits it one time. Is he uh -oh. gonna get it again? He needs one more hit though. Oh, never oh. mind. There we go. And oh, winner Wyvern. HP. Very nice. Well, they died top though. Don't worry. We didn't miss first blood because our observer was definitely watching it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is, a chicken kills way bigger than uh, first blood. Anyways, 175 gold going everyone's way is insane. Now you don't have the bottle crow if you need. It's a big thing, but they do get the first blood, which is nice for Owie, especially on a vengeful. And now Moon's getting, yep, Moon's going right to the jungle, and look at it, they have the ward there, you might see a quick rotation. Yeah, that's true, that's a good point. They were expecting that rotation after a potential first blood, they just overwhelmed him 3v1 top, and we'll see what they do. I think the big thing, like, uh, I think Purge or Trent said, the getting Sakuchi on Rubik is like the best skill besides maybe like AM or Quad Link. Bottom lane. Bottom lane, Burrow Strike is missed. And MSS is just gonna walk away safely. Ah, I've seen that in one of his animes. Yes. Yeah! Is he still with level 1 Burrow Strike? Going go. again. Resolution he coming in. Down. Yeah, he doesn't have time leap anymore. A couple more right clicks will do it. No fairy fire to speak of, and that's a kill going the way of DC. Yeah, that was good. MSS actually came back to farm, and he didn't expect Misery to still stay there with the level 1 stun. This is good persistence. Despite having this ward, they actually haven't made any rotations whatsoever. Moon has taken out, I believe that was a double stack initially in the yeah. the hard camp. This one's going to be a little bit harder with the mud those, golems. But... Those golems take like two damage a second. Yeah. He's level three, and that essentially ties him with Void. Although Void's going to still get a little bit more out of this, I believe. Oh. Well, maybe not. That's middle. The middle lane, 14 and 4. You assume Envy... Before the acid spray with that first metamorphosis, he's gonna get a ton more farm, but now he has to go against the uh, acid spray. It's just, that's a rough matchup after that first metamorphosis. Yeah, I actually, I think this ward um, might have been placed for Alchemist, actually, in the jungle. I think so, they wanted to stack, and well, they're fine with that. And they're oh, the they're stack, fine with yeah. him the taking The stack went to things. Darkseer instead, yeah. I guess. They'll probably take that. What do you think of the Ags this game, by the way, if we get to that point? We have Weaver, who can cast time lapse on a teammate, and it's also, I think, like a 20 second cooldown, like ridiculously low. I think you give it to your Sand King first, because it's Misery on the support. He probably won't be farming himself, so it probably goes in, but I know we've seen, uh, who is it, Vir Virtus Pro, when Lil plays the support weaver, he goes like second item Agonims, and it's actually super game winning, so nah, I think it is a good pickup, but you probably go with Misery first. Yeah, I think Sand King first, and you have to, depending on what time of the game it is, actually Dark Seers is, yeah. normally I'd say it's, it's decent, depending on the game, but against the Terrorblade especially, what is it, 140% damage? Insane, yeah, it's, it's insane, Ridiculous. super light game. 
Uh, Winter Wyvern just should never get it. It's just a terrible item on him. I've or actually her. never seen it. Is it terrible? I've seen it in Overthrow, and it's terrible on that. <laughs> and it's actually it would be better in Overthrow. It's getting terrible in normal game. It's, yeah, the, the Overthrow meta is probably yeah. pretty accurate, honestly. Yeah, it's about the same as Elimination Mode meta. So it, to my understanding, it, it just it allows you to comp just refresh the yeah. uh, Arctic Burn. Right, and you, it's, yeah. it's toggleable, so you have to you drain mana every second with skill. Exactly, you have to have them quick fingers. Yeah, it definitely seems like a weaker Aghanim scepter. Yeah. Envy just gonna get top rune. No bottle yet. If he even wants to get bottle, I believe he still will, but he might. Yeah, he still will with the Iron Talon. He can go jungle bottle. He should be able to farm a ton. Yeah, I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna push this tier one tower. They're, once awesome. they get it. Uh, Envy is going to end up going to the jungle, and then one of the supports will take over mid to leech some XP, or get some soul XP. Yeah, I didn't even see how MP jungled third. Level three and a half on both their supports at four minutes in, though. That's extremely good. Yeah, it's not too bad. And they're just pushing. I like, Ali actually went the max stun. Instead of the max aura, we see Biza go on his carry. So they're pushing the tower a little bit slower, but burst damage, I'm... I'm always a fan of. I see a cool little interaction. I didn't really think about this before. We talk about how Oracle is so good against Darkseer because he can purge the uh, Ion Shelled Creep. Well, Repel works pretty much the same way in that regard. Yeah. And we see it come into play here. Do you have a smoke? Who smoked? I saw it somewhere. Maybe oh, it's just crazy. a solo smoke. Misery. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's level, or, he's kill on level two stun. Uh, that'd be a tough kill, I think. Yeah, it is. You're going to have an instant TP from the Omni, I assume. Yeah. I think you need at least Arc. Uh, a wyvern here because no stun on Weeha. He's not going to be picking that up anytime soon either. Now we have a smoke. Later nine. The counter smoke actually coming middle. Uh oh. The old mm -hmm. Rubik Omni train. That's scary, but Misery is behind his mid who is now taunting. That's Weeha's specialty, by the way, in case you were wondering. Really uh, loves nope. hitting that taunt button. Good. Uh, Eternal Envy doesn't, they can't, I think they're just going fully bottom, because Eternal Envy had no mana or anything for any sort of gank, no Q, and they're gonna find Misery. Yeah, they're gonna right-click him, and uh -oh. MSS is getting right-clicked a bit as well. He's yeah. gonna take a Swarm and a Burrow Strike. Pops his time dilation, who's gonna win out in this fight? We have a TP support coming in from Vengeful Spirit. Actually, that's oh. not the support, that's the carry Venge. They're gonna take out Soxa with ease, and the rest of the DC have to back that horse up. Yeah, that's... Perfect counter gank from the carry venge. And now you see Rubik actually rotating top. He's gonna go hit some levels. He's like, I can't wait to get six. Steal Sakuchi. And they might just try to pressure bottom. Omni will have another heal here. He has a mango as well as the clarity on him. Good rotations from NP early already. Not making Owie just sit there and farm. Damn, Venge is he's sticking to bot lane for now with the Omni Knight support. I think they need and... a sentry down there though, if they're gonna like commit this much to it. Wow, Burrow Strike. Forcing out the time leap or the time walk, which is only 40 mana, so not really not worth bad. it, I don't think. Not really, and he. I mean, I obviously, mean, with the blast has first, two burrows yeah. as far as mana. I, I like the dual top, the Winter Wyvern versus Rubik supports, both just trying. They're like, let's just <laughs> let's be cool, let's, let's get experience and gold. This is there what we, we call a, a friendly stalemate. Just yep. let things be, let's just get levels, no problem. Ooh, Pretty now the rotation. Overall. We do see we are trying to kill these jungle creeps. He's getting hammered down a little, but the acid will take him mostly all down. Yeah, top lane, top. we have the lift. Yeah. They have Chrono if they need it, and they will expend. Look at that cosmetic! My goodness, what a good void player! They're gonna find the that's, easy That's a Soxie. hexagon, if you knew. It's a lot of hexagons, actually. Indeed. Many it's a hexagons. hexadecimal gun. Oh my goodness, that's not accurate at all. <laughs> I don't know what a hexadecimal is anyways. I, I graduated to know. from third grade. The computer science classes and uh, digital design, I believe it was called. Ooh. Worst class I've ever taken in my life. Thank you very much. What about French? No, One. French is better. Oh, okay. I took German. It was whatever. I actually took Spanish. I never took French. Oh, okay. but I'm sure French is better. Yeah. Digital design. <laughs> Anywho, 3 to NP 1 advantage for NP. Looking good. Yeah, they're looking good. Like, SVG still getting levels. The Rubik obviously getting levels. They get the kill on Wyvern. He's halfway to six. I I don't know. It seems like Weeha's just going to have to keep doing what he's doing, taking stacks. He has his armlet already. He might. Do you think he'll go uh, He'll go Radiance next? Will he go the Octarine Manta, or do you think he has to go fighting build? Uh, I know I'm he's been... Lately, he's been doing more fighting build, but it yeah. just depends on the game, I think, and the matchups. And I'm not sure what... Uh, I Tough to say. 
Like, yeah. well, actually, what would you go this game against, like, Terror Blade pushing you down early? Would you go... The Octarine Mantle allows you to cut waves a lot easier. Yeah. So perhaps that's something he's looking for. The thing is, like, you know NP's gonna be pushing with that carry Venge, but do you want to fight into it, or do you want to try to cut waves? Yeah, I, I think he can go either one. But with the Weaver, he's a decently aggressive early game carry, and I might want to just straight up fight into him. Yeah, I think we'll the Weaver see. is the wild card here, because you yeah. pretty much know what Alchemist is going to do for the most part, but Weaver, not sure against this uh, lineup, especially considering he has to go uh, Diffusal at some point. Yeah. Oh, there Early we go, Blossom. Them. Oh, wow. Yikes. He's going to have to time-lapse that off. That's fine. It's a pretty long cooldown, though. 60 seconds. That gives him a little bit of a window to perhaps uh, gank resolution. Yep. Oh, Monster's now... up in 20. We have Ion Shell, Faceless Void. That's what he stole. Now the Rubik's 6. That's a lot of damage. I, they can easily get another kill up top with that iron shell. For sure. Moon. Now with the arcane boots. Uh, not sure how comfortable he is staying in this lane at the moment with heroes off the map. But Ooh. AUI, I'm, I'm a huge fan of AUI's Venge, by the way. He used to love this back in the day, and he obviously still does. Yeah. I, so here, I wish we saw more as a as a I one. love carry Venge. He, he has really good stats. Oh, they're going in. Yep, they're gonna swap up Soxa, and that's gonna be another easy kill. I believe that's his third so far. Resolution was waved up by AUI, and don't think they're gonna. Well, they could potentially dive the the tower, but time lapse is gonna be up in six seconds, and he has eight charges on his wand. They, th they probably think he TP'd out. Maybe they're just gonna take a free tower. It looks like. Oh, and they smoked smoke. up as well. Oh, resolution! Will he get to deny? Looking for it. Oh, he got Damn. it. That's the Ukrainian they, god. They all went to smoke, and I think now that they kind of gave away, they smoked. Weha shouldn't die here, hopefully, but his ult just ran out. And, and anytime you say Weha die. shouldn't die, it means he's gonna die, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. That is what we call the Weha special, ladies and gentlemen. Although Sox is here, try to bail out his mid player. He gets repelled, oh. in fact. Swapped wow. up on top of that. Repel's about to run out. He has armor toggle again, but no, not in time. And the Venge stun takes him. That was a lot harder than it should have been. Yeah, it does. Guys, nonetheless. It definitely shows the power of the max stun there. First, the armor toggling. He could have just toggled through if it was only a level one stun. Well, there's Winter Soxa. Wyvern again. Yeah, that's four deaths for Sox and not having a good game so far on the Winter Wyvern. Bro, it, I mean, it's definitely, you can tell there is a lot of rust just on the team. I mean, this is the, the, actually their first official. And then MP just, they're playing exactly how they looked when they qualified for the Boston Majors pretty easily. Yep. But Misery gets free tower top, and that's good. You need your Sanking to get an early blink. And, and he did pop Metamorphosis, boy. by the way, and that's going to be running on the next 15 seconds or so. They're looking for Roche, which they have a very good Roche team with Venge yep. and Terrorblade combo. And the heals. Should be pretty easy. No Vlad yet on the Void because he did die. But yeah. Mr. is actually it. pinging this out, and Metamorphosis is about to run Ooh. out. We'll see how yeah, fast they, they can, can actually take, take this. All right. There's the bug. Swarm. I think Swarm is one of the more underrated skills in the game overall. It's yeah. super powerful. The amount of damage, especially early, the amount of damage and minus armor it does is just amazing for team fights. So I think Weha being a little bit too greedy, by the way. I think he should have gotten, if they're going to be fighting, he should get a level in stun for sure. Uh, but turns out he's just going to go back to farming. And they're going to attempt to take out 1437 with this four man smoke rotation. Oh, the he Sakuchi. steals Shikuchi, though. We talked about that pre game. Easy skill to steal, and in fact, we might have a wraparound here from NP. They're going to be squeezing them in. Oh, the Chronosphere is completely missed! Burrow Strike a little bit too aggressive, so he dies nonetheless, does Misery. And 1437, Shikuchi does not have it anymore, actually. He's still Swarm. Still swarm? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. That was an interesting choice. I think he's going to steal, actually. Soxa TP's out, Resolution. He nice gets stunned up. <laughs> was he looking for time lapse? Oh, he, he picked up Shikuchi again. So yeah, he got it again. I, I don't think he'll be... Maybe he was just trying to refresh the how long he had it for, but now he has it, and that's fine. They're up 8-2. to two. This is a goal. Now they can go for Roach again. They're not... They're up 1,700 gold against the... the uh, What's his name? Alchemist team. That's yep. always good. Indeed. I mean, typically speaking, like if you're talking about Alchemist games, the gold is going to be inflated for your team just a, just a tad, you know? And the fact that they're up 1,500. In a normal game, it's probably what, like 3, 4k they'd be up? That oh. effect. Here we go. Down they the up. Vengeful Spirit. What does he go here? What is this Ogre Club going to be? The, the, the thingy that gives you more range. Dragonlands. Dragon Alright, yeah, that's the good. The Lance of Dragons. Do you know the lore behind that? 
don't. Please There's inform actually me. a dragon in the Dota 2, not a winter wyvern. Wyverns aren't dragons. They're actually right. the second cousins. So bottom lane. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought you were going to continue with your lore. <laughs> I know Slax is going to be judging you because he considers himself the king of lore. Yeah, he's kind of, I mean, between me and you, he's kind of slow, but a good kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. Well, bottom lane, they're looking for Moon, but he, he escaped barely. Yeah. He has almost completed his mechanism and resolution, pushing the top lane, forcing a TP out by AUI. Ooh. They could potentially jump him, actually, if they knew he was alone. He has age. I think they knew he was alone because he didn't swap. If there was someone behind him, he would have swapped back into the tower. And I think they're like, oh, maybe we should go on him. Then they saw he had Aegis and right. 1300 HP. He's actually so tanky with just Dragonlance treads. I think if DC could go back in time, they would ban Rubik. This is. Easiest game to steal Shikuchi. Yeah, <laughs> and really that, is. Any mobility, like, it's not just mobility, but it's also damage, and it has such a low cooldown. And I think that's the biggest deal about Shikuchi overall. Alright, hmm. well, Moon again. He has mech. He can finish it. And I think he's bringing it out now. Well, it is. I mean, they need Misery to get a blink, so they have some initiation. The problem is, if that Rubik does just keep Shikuchi, they're gonna need, actually, like, detection. You don't want to have to buy detection against NP's team, but they might be forced to. Yeah, that's true. And he steals it again, so he refreshes it. I mean, it's pretty hard not to yeah, steal it. Right it's actually almost impossible. All right, can't can't spam Shikuchi. Let me get Q out here, okay? Just going to sit here as a very squishy 880 health bug with... I think it's actually decent armor, 9 armor overall, thanks to the Equilin soon-to-be Dragonlance of his own. So a bug holding a Dragonlance, how's that for lore? doesn't work. He doesn't <laughs> have hands. No. What are they called then? Uh, Dragon claws. He has claws of some kind. I don't know what they actually call that oh, in the bottom in line, world. Now we... strike into an epicenter uh -oh. of the Repel. <laughs> AUI is just going to awkwardly TP with Repel in the face of DC. Uh oh, but SVG's in trouble. Yeah, Repel's down for another 11 seconds. It's a lot of damage with purification though. Oh, he gets blocked. Nice block by Moon. Even pops his ultimate. Very he might be going for a interesting. kill. Interesting. Wow. Oh, Repel is up. It's gonna fall nonetheless. I mean, that's a big cooldown. That's 140 seconds, no GA. Yeah, that was an awesome block by Moon. He just stood in the tree so he couldn't try to rotate while his team came, and... We do see a oh, blink on Rubik now. Weeha. He oh, did just pick Weeha. up Radiance not too long ago. Has a thousand gold to boot. Gonna be ganked. There's a Chronosphere, Envy. No what Metamorphosis missed. for five seconds, though, so I don't think they're getting this. Yeah, they're struggling. They're just gonna steal a couple creeps from Alk. To be on their merry way. Absolute. Uh, so, Slack. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Slack, should I relay it? So, Omni Knight went support items. I'm guessing that's what you're uh, referring to, while Slacks goes for straight ags and Do other you know, god awful items. Yeah, straight ags is terrible. It doesn't heal towers anymore. Garbage. I mean, Slacks basically just chooses the worst possible build on every hero and just does it, just for the memes. He Roman, is 5k MMR, though. That, that is unfortunately true. <laughs> They're looking. They can't find... So oh, they, they know he's there. They have the Do scan. They? Dyer, use it. It's red. Oh, yeah. Now it's green. Oh, boy. Like, they have to know exactly where he's at at this point. Dyer's they probably think he's TP'd, Something but he doesn't have any. Can Iron Tal on their way. Oh, oh they Sox found is him. just going to awkwardly walk Hello. right in front of him. Meanwhile, top lane, Moon Meander. Getting into a little trouble, but there's no Chronosphere to speak of. Moon Meander. He can just TP bash. now, I believe. Well, if he gets one Minus bash. bash. If he's feeling lucky, that is. Yeah. Socks in the meantime gets right click down to death. Moon's actually oh. gonna pop mechanism. But with Rubik having Shikuchi, this is gonna be so hard to get away. Wow. Rough. But good news Boots of Travel on Alchemist. Oh. Now we can watch him play it like a Naga. That's yeah, everyone's man. favorite. We should have community banned him, guys. No, oh, I like it. Because he gets Ags at some point, hopefully. Yeah. Oop. Looks like Shadow Blade is going to be coming up on the Venge. They're just going to go for a full pig. I mean, obviously, with the Silver Edge, damage reduction, all that. It's just good stat item overall. Right, which item? Uh, the, I meant Silver Edge. Silver Edge, yes. I see a lot Should on Caravan. It's just really good stats. People don't realize, like, oh, they have nothing to really passive to cancel out, but... The stats on there are just insane. Now oh, it's not just that. It lowers the cooldown, and yeah. it also reduces damage, damage yeah. for, what is it, four seconds, I believe? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to explain to the plebs. 
Yeah, it's... But you are not a pleb, my man. You've done your research. Thank you, friend. I read Reddit. That makes me an expert. Oh, look at Envy bottom lane. almost broke the server. That meta and maybe that was just my computer. Jesus, it might have been. That, no, he metamorphosis and then... Yeah, it's it froze. It froze <laughs> everything, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. That tower's going to go down death. one way or another. Yeah, we uh -oh. have a vacuum. Solution. Power's still up. I do some chip damage and... There's the Wyvern. Oh, it's just going to hold him in place. No damage really being done. Swap out. Very awkward for Alchemist. Can't get off. Oh, my oh dear. God. Golden Brace is going to hold him in place. Oh, my God. Three-man Chronosphere. And the first to go down is likely to be Alchemist. As here comes the Epicenter. Very nicely done. 1437 is going to get healed by the stolen Cold Embrace. And the first default is actually going to be Weaver. Yeah. That was... There was two. Void had two chances to kill the Alk, and the Radiance miss actually made a oh, mental really? attack. I was wondering how in God's name he lived. So Could have been a lot worse. Off. Yeah, resolution. Like we said, the de uh, uh, diffusal here, and they're going back in. They're not. Concoction. But it's going to be tough to fight this with no mana on Sand King at the moment. And I mean, when you play Alchemist like this, you just have to delay. You need to delay as long as possible. Just in general, it gets terribly. That's kind of your your strategy. I do like DC protected this tier 2 tower. Very close to going down, but it is still up. And that secures a little bit of their jungle, but they're going to bring it down right now, so it doesn't matter. Sand King does have mana, and everyone is alive. Possibly could defend, but... Well, he's and he's just going to cool. take over the jungle. Yeah, they're like, we'll just take this. Now they're going back down. I don't know, they're just moving. They're just moving around. I wish it would show how many bounty runes Alchemist picked up this game. That's something that... Oh, you actually can if you hit uh, F11. Oh yeah, F11, of course. They've been sarcastic. 12. <laughs> Radiance bottom tower. 12 used to be the quit key in Half-Life, but no longer. Oh, I never actually fell know. for it. Can't tell if you're trolling. <laughs> no, I've never played that game. Is okay. that like Halo? Oh, you... Yeah, it... sure. Less aliens. Actually, uh -oh. that's not true. Yeah, that's still true. Less aliens. I know the main character's name's Gordon Freeman. That's a pretty good name. Can you tell Slacks to stop laughing? It's very distracting. Like, we're trying to cast the game. What an idiot, honestly. Yeah, no resolution. We bring Getting close to a defusal. He's yeah, gonna get ganked, uh -oh. though. AUI is invisible thanks to the Shadow oh. Blade. Well, he shikuchis out, but swap back into the death. And they still have Chronosphere. They do. And they can push this tier 1 tower and they'll likely get it considering it only has 173 health. The Eternal Envy actually has that. He has man to defuse already 21 minutes with Reds. He's doing pretty good. The Iron... Man, Iron... This just isn't how Iron Talon's supposed to be used. It's supposed to be jungling, offlaners. Instead you get on Slarks and TBs. It's just broken. Sometimes the Alchemist. I'm actually a little bit surprised yeah. he didn't pick it up himself. Uh-oh. They're going in bottom. And he defuses up. Metamorphosis. He gets up nice. the concoction, but yeah. Not even close. Envy is just dealing a... I, I want to say redonkulous, but I feel like I've been saying it too much. But I don't care. Redonkulous amount of damage. You could say insane. No, uh, that's too... generic. Oh, okay. AUI? I don't like generic. I like the real Rice Krispies. I hate the generic brand. Well, Moon Man, there's like better going on. Better. Yeah. See ya, Moon. Yeah, Moon pops the mech, but the bashes are real. So Void right now, MSS that is, has a blink of lads. And he's probably going to go uh, defusal himself, actually. Yeah, this is crazy. Just watching NP just moves around so meticulously and great. Is it? I, I, there's not much else to say. They're just playing really well as a team. Taking, picking up where they left off in the Boston qualifiers. And right now they have a 5,000 gold lead. XP even more so. Against the Alchemist. That's true. Because so Alchemist can delay the game at times. See if that ends up being the case here. They really need that badly because Weaver getting close to defusal, and that's when he's going to start dealing some actual damage. Yeah, the only so they problem can is potentially find some kills. They're all so far now. Like the Omni, thirteen hundred life. The even the Rubik, eleven hundred life has blink can get Sakuchi. Like the defusal doesn't really do anything except maybe purge off a repel. Like, they, they still don't do damage after that is the problem. I think it's not even the repel that matters as much as um, GA. They'll probably wait for that, I imagine. But yeah, you're right. 1437, arcane boots, blink, and a point booster. And I would not... I, I just assume he's going to end up 
finishing an axe before this game is over because he is super farmed, and that is, is an amazing pickup. Able to pick that bad boy up. Smoke Especially. didn't really go anywhere for DC. No. They're so far behind. They they want to commit to like a good smoke gank, but they don't want to run into five heroes of MP and just lose the game. It's rough life. And MP will just play their. They're fine. That just like last game, they're up a lot, and they're just gonna play their slow game, get farm, get an occasional pick up, and an occasional tower. That's all they have to do. Plus, they have dire advantage with, with Roach. Not only that, but their their lineup is amazing at taking Roche, as we talked about. Um, so you said you, you think that it, uh, Curtis is gonna finish Silver Edge as yeah, his first. Like, oh, he, he does, does actually. All right, good call. Good call. I know my North American Soxa, Dota. Tank in the gank. Oh. Link fourteen thirty seven finds him. TP he out. Away. Potentially he's gonna swap. No, doesn't he even does. need it. I mean that's still worth it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're Roche DC. is up and they're going for it. Yeah. Probably a free Roche, and this means DC needs to split push as much as possible right now. Yep. Push out the lanes for that matter. They have Manta now up on Alchemist, so once he gets that Octarine, he'll finally be at peak Naga performance. But a little bit slowed down, 0 and 2. His jungle's been taken over, that's the biggest thing. He cannot yep. farm everywhere. Down goes Roche. So Kuchi stolen up top. They've already set up their defense. Ah uh, yes. And that is just a thorn in DC's side this game, the the Rubik. Oh, he's getting find him. The revenge of Theban. Chronosphere onto Weaver. Oh. They actually, oh. Yeah, they actually he time dilated. He's Shikuchi, but time lapse takes it off. He's they have jam up away. on he MSS. So he fast, just has to move forward. Yeah, there yeah, we go. This is rough. Rough, rough, rough. Gem, oh, here we go. Well, I mean, there we go, guys. You see, you see Slacks? That's a great ultimate. Very yeah. useful ultimate. What? I, I just hate don't... it when he's right, by the way. I, I just it. don't know what DC does here. I, I really don't. They, they this... just want to split push with Alchemist, like you said, but they're just so far behind. Oh, Jesus. And a pause. We haven't seen many pods from MP. Though. It's actually rare. <laughs> Very rare. No he one's been spiking, spiking Curtis, please. Just end the misery. Let your players talk for themselves. They won't talk. <laughs> no, we're losing. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> He's getting ready for the move to Arizona. I like that, Moon. Very nicely done. <laughs> and, oh, the reconnection by Eben. You like, oh, he wait, he went back to 1437? Oh, wasn't yeah, he right. using Rhodes for yeah, a while? Yeah, he was using Rhodes, like, that's true. He was using it in Boston. Maybe uh, oh, I know it's official about. or something. The ticket. No, I think it's because uh, it was like a rose that hadn't blossomed yet, and now that he's blossomed, he's back to full form. Fourteen oh, thirty-seven, which actually means I love you. Yes, it does. I knew that because Soldier Boy song. Oh, it's from an actual song. I thought it was a a more. Yeah, it's, uh, Bobby Brackens. One four three. I la 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 love you. All right, now I I like that name less now, honestly. <laughs> After you explain, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Still love Theban. Good, good yeah, kid. And Soldier Boy, but Blue, Blue pushing top. Misery. He's doing his best. He's just. He realizes he has. To, he might just get an axe himself. No. I think he gets. He has to go. Uh, he has to wait for. Al yeah, he has to get other items and then let Alchemist give him an axe. I think. I don't think he can waste that much gold. I agree. I think Aetherland. I mean, he could finish that now. So maybe he doesn't want to go for that because he would have already. Yeah, and denied top tower, MSS. What does he go next? Blink? Vlad? Does he go damage? He probably goes Manta, I would assume. I'll go Manta. Manta Fusel. Fusel, the classic. Or he could do the Wings Shadow and just get a, a Lincolns. That was more of a first item carry build, but I digress. Yeah, Lincolns has been picked up so much uh, more. Why is it the last, I'm going to say, four months? Well, there you go. Lincolns, Lincoln's on the Terrorblade. Pretty standard. Yeah, now we have it on Terrorblade. Okay. Which is good. It, it's like a, a low skill cap item. Like, you don't have to click anything unless you want to put it on someone else. You just tank a stun. So, would you anything. recommend that item for newbies coming to Dota yes. 2? Just buy Lincolns on every hero? Yeah, it, I used to be the ARDM build, actually. Support Crystal Maiden Lincoln Sphere. Well, yeah, and your ultimate would get full. Ca That's just a great idea, Sunspan. Uh, thank you. I wasn't being sarcastic at all. Me either. But, <laughs> thank you, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> great. Oh, thank they're you. pushing mid. But. We see the alchemist. The, this is fun to watch. 
It is. He's going to be going for Octarine. In case you were wondering, Grant, that's uh, that's oh. not a cookie cutter build at all. It's no, actually it's not. a revolutionary, in fact. I Never who invented before. that build first. Abe Lincoln? <laughs> yes. That's why he was shot in the fucking head. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. Oh, we're going to have a They're fight. Photo Strike applied to Vengeful Spirit. Of course, the Aegis, remember, is on the Terror Blade, and I think if you're DC, you need to just dodge this fight. Envy is just dealing. Oh, very nice. Oh, he gets swapped at the last second. Omni Knight will live. No, because you know why? There's another skill from Winter Wyvern getting the kill, Sir Action Slack. Moon Enter in the meantime, trying to do as much as he can. He gets stunned a beautiful Chronosphere. But Terror Blade is stuck inside, and Resolution on the outside. Envy will go down, but that's the Aegis. He'll be back very shortly. So, so far, it's a one-for-one, one, not including the Aegis Resolution. Pop the time lapse, Moon Meander on the run, but the Diffuser will keep him in place. Nice Boro Strike, but a little bit too late. And they're just going to probably clean up Misery, in fact. Um, that wow. Winter Wyvern kill, though, boy. That's the highlight of the game if you're Sir Slacks. Rubik, in the meantime, he gets taken out before Shikuchi is stolen. And so, yeah, a two-for-two, two, and the Aegis is gone, Grant. Yeah, and look at they don't even care about pushing this tier two. They're still like, well, we can just go farm. We won that fight. We lost a few people, but... Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. They bought back on Sank. I didn't even yeah, notice. Yeah, he lost it. Yeah, it's okay. rough. And we almost see the Hurricane Pike now on Venge. Venge is just so tanky and does insane amounts of damage with not that much. Ooh, Resolution. This season. Doesn't seem he's in Viz. Resolution. And it seems that AUI is going to be finishing up Hurricane Pike here with another couple hundred gold. Oh, he's going to find... Uh-oh. He wants to die a seventh time, it seems. He has Cold Embrace as well if he really needs to, to get away, but no. Wave of Terror was already popped. Can't scout out in the trees. Yeah, NP. They're good. 519. They're just going to continue farming out. We see Faceless 2.9k, actually. Quite farmed. Even How is NP versus Illusions this game once Alk gets a little bit more farm? Mm, it's a little bit rougher. They need, obviously, Terror Blade can deal with them decently. Omni Knight heal, Rubik. Uh, Fade Bolt, but besides that, not the best clear. And what about vice versa? Terror Blade Illusions, DC to take over. Sand King. Once Sand King gets Ags, it's great. Both yep, teams have the some dream. illusion burn, but not the greatest. Go, by the way. He just picked up... I, oh, that's right. He bought back and then died, and then now has a gem. In misery. I could have sworn... I, Aether Lens is essentially standard after... Sometimes even after Arcane Boots. Yeah. Poor Blink, right? I haven't seen many Aether lenses actually at all on them. Really? Yeah, really? they just usually they just usually get Ags and they're cool to go. And there's right. the Octarine. All I right. Guess that's true. If you can get a, a safe Ags, you don't really need Aether. I mean, that 200 oh. extra range, is Grant. Neat. It is. It is God, but fortunately, he's too broke. Well, if you're DC here, do you just build an Ags now, or do you finish going for like a Shivas on Alk? And he'll probably finish going Shiva's. He's their main guy in fights. He has to tank as much as he can. As much as, like, an aggressive Sand King Agonins is, I don't think they can get it right away. They'll just lose we know, fights. Knowing Weeha, he's going to end up getting Moonshard before an Ags, so Ooh. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I hope not. Oh, there's an Ags. What's he going to steal for, on Rubik? Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, not, it's more about the cooldown, I think. Yeah, he can just steal multiple spells huge. in a fight. But, yeah. at, like, Boro Strike... Ags yeah, Burrow Strike is fucking disgusting. What if he somehow steals Time Lapse with the Ags and he sends yeah. back his team? Back time Lapse is it's pretty difficult to get. Uh, I guess Resolution's not going to be going for Lincoln's this game, so Rubik could potentially steal it actually, but uh, it looks to be a BKB with that Mithril Hammer. On Resolution smart. It could still just be a Desso. How does Desso interact with Diffusal? I guess Diffusal's not anything anymore, is it? Yeah, it's not. So it deals well. Oh boy, bottom lane misery. The center into a concoction and down goes the gem along with Void. Wow. Pretty big kill. That's a huge kill. That's worth a lot. Sankin got 600 gold from that, another gem. That's just... Now we see why MT plays safe. Just one dumb move costs him another 10 minutes into the game. Better be careful with these double gems though. Yeah, I... I'm surprised he doesn't just like leave and bring the courier out. DC's going to group up, look for this tier 2 potentially. Even Weeha showed up to the party. Oh wow, and it does look like it's going to be a Desolator up on the Weaver. Can they push oh him as they're looking? They want to kill. 
It's tough oh. though with that Lincoln's up. You can't just blink stun him. Yeah. They don't that, really have lockdown so, besides I that. I feel like that's weird, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. That Lincoln's blocks Burrow. That doesn't oh, make any sense to me. Trust me, me and Merlini argued with this a bunch. Unless you actually... Yeah, it's not target. I, I can't get into this again. <laughs> Wait, which it's side do you back memories. On? Memories of my grandma. Oh, God. She invented Lincoln's. Sounds awful. That just sounds horrendous. Alcus, in the meantime, is... Uh... Farming away as per norm, 3.6k at the moment. Scotty is the next item of choice, I believe, for Envy on that terrible. We have a I don't think it's another Lincoln. On to one resolution. Has time lapse. Can he get it off? Doesn't look like it. Yep, Envy find another go. great pick off. Now there's gonna, yeah, they clear with Metamorphosis up. They kill Alchemist Illusions extremely quick, and that's what they want to do. They look like they want to finally get this tier two. Yeah, absolutely. Should be able to. I feel like this might be a good game for avoid uh, Aghanims at some point. Yeah, I think so. But he has Mithril Hammer, so I assume that's going to be BKB. Zaxa. Oh, it looks like actually Weeha's going to be one picked off here. Swapped huh. and stunned. Cold Embrace, not close enough. Or by Cold Embrace, of course, I mean Winter's This is not first. looking good. Same spell, it's all good. Zaxa, delay is inevitable. It's three kills in the form of NP, and they're going to take this tier two, and they should continue. There's no reason not to. Oh, he's going to look at it. He's already uphill. He can't even take the tower. Envy doesn't get a F. And buyback is forced on the Weeha. He has acid spray, but no ultimate for another two seconds. Oh, wow, that tower drops. Telekinesis. Oh, dodges the magic missile with Manta. Moon. Vacuum into wall. Looks like GA is going to be popped. And this would be a really good Winter's Curse, but unfortunately already expended earlier. Misery. The center blink combination is going to take out the Omni Knight, and now NP is on the run. Alchemist, Caution on Vengeful Spirit has the swap up. Going to use it to try to get away, but going to be all for naught. Magic Mitchell missile potentially saves another kill, actually. It does to uh, if you're retreating. Yeah, it's, I Ooh. think NP is a little bit fine with that. Just they they actually got the tier three tower. If they didn't get it, it might not be because they got it. They're fine, but top lane is getting split pushed hard by Weeha. We have bashed pretty much immediately. T37 oh, steals. Oh my! Spray, but he's gonna take a beating for it. Gets the telekinesis off. And Weeha might be in a little bit of trouble here. But here comes Moon Meander. BKB popped by MSS. Hold Embrace keeps Weeha alive. He's gonna heal so much through that with his ultimate as well. Rubik just died to be fine. Winter's Curse, Faceless Void. Could time was out of this, but dies before he can even get it off. Misery taken out. That's a gem down on the deck. I believe it's only one gem. I think he saved the other one, I assume. I hope so. Yeah, Rubik tried running to the fountain. Those illusions just bashed him to death and he died to him. Where is the second gem? I think Omni Knight has it. Uh, no, Omni Knight just picked up that gem. The oh, other okay. gem's somewhere else. The other gem is on the courier for it DC. Is. Okay. And there's the Desolator for Weaver. Alright. Deso Diffusal. Back in the day, you could not do this. Back in the day, if you got that, you'd be flamed. Uh, now that Everyone. we have some time, as Roshan's going to be potentially taken out here, what do you feel about Deso just not being an orb at all, and just everything stacks with everything? Eh, think no that really would change a lot? I used to think, but no one really picks it up as much. I mean, on Clanks, it's super good. Same with Weaver, but besides those two, like you don't really see it first or second item on anyone. Oh, we might have a fight here. Wave oh. of Terror gets popped. Oh, wow. oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Soxa stays alive. Weaver gets Ooh. Aegis. Cheese is still there, by the way, in the pit. Actually could still take it. Doesn't choose to do so, instead chooses to die. Time lapse was up. Unable to successfully use it. So that's three dead for Roche. That's not worth it if you're DC. Yeah, and uh, NP actually got the kill on Roche. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, Did I don't know what got it. But well, they, they threw got a it. wave of terror and... It might have been the Radiance huh. burn from uh, Reflection, actually, because I didn't see anyone attacking him, yeah, but I could just be wrong and everyone's just going to call me a dumbass. It's okay. It's uh, NA Dota. You're allowed to. All right, sick. Link and Sphere on Owie in, like, 200 now. Hey, you're right. He is. He's They're just linking them up. They don't want to get stunned by Saiyan King at all. And NB repel. just going to barrel down mid lane. Metamorphosis is about to dissipate. There's backdoor protection, Envy. Yeah, a little bit. See that don't little icon it. there? That means backdoor protection. Creeps ah. will be here any moment, though. Coming. So they're going to get the range through backdoor, in fact. And I guess they're just going to give up full racks mid. I still can't believe they 
like Terrorblade's like a tier one hero in CM mode. The fact right. they got to the second game of elimination mode and they have a repel with it, that is not good for the other team. Great for them. Yeah, and I think Alchemist one hundred percent has to build Ags for SK now. Yeah, has it's to. Your one main spell against this illusion army that is Terrorblade. He's not super close. This looks like a potential smoke happening here for DC. I want to find a kill as NP's just going to group up bottom. And I don't see why not. This is a fusal level 2 now on Envy. Oh, did he see his illusion get blocked? It is Envy. He might have. His illusion got blocked and had to run around the trees, actually. And Dyer uses a scan. They see him, yep. And how many times have they scanned directly on a smoke? They're just series? trying to run. It feels like almost every smoke from DC is actually... Yeah. Getting scouted out. NP is just playing crispy, like Panko. Crispy? That oh. means good. Yeah, I assumed. Okay. You know. <laughs> I That's think I good. Got that. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> yes. Envy. What does Envy get now? He has 5.7k, or maybe yeah. I should answer that. I mean, Butterfly, maybe. We saw him actually get a, a data lit. No, that was. You know what's weird? He doesn't Katara. have Dragonlance. I just realized. That's kind of odd he doesn't have Dragonlance, right? Yeah, right. He did. He went straight Manta. Huh. Doesn't that is actually it. really surprising. But it worked out, so I think he just went straight farming. He's like, I don't even need the stat. Because they knew they didn't want to push early versus Acid Spray Sand King, I guess. And the farm build super paid off. And right now the gold lead for NP, despite playing against an Alchemist, is reaching about the 10k mark at the moment. Not insurmountable per se, but very difficult to come back from this. And again, the Ags is going to be a big deal here. They can get whole ones. Oh. Hey, which ones make a big difference? We have the Weaver one could be game breaking. Yeah, Weaver but... and the Eternal Envy actually picked up a full butterfly. He is he's six slotted now. Actually, wow. Well, like maybe luckily for him, you can, yeah, you can get uh, you can get seven slot in Dota now. It's a thing. That's good. Old Moon Shard, Boots of Travel 2. I wonder if they'll make a Boots of Travel 3. You can teleport if an enemy's on the map. Yeah, I've heard people bring that up. It sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> have you actually? Yes. Uh, it might have been Slacks, actually. But... Oh, well, he's actually an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> that exactly. sounds... Why would anyone bring that up? Why did I bring a... it up? <laughs> Slacks is like a fungus. He just infects you one way or another. Like a real fungus or a toe fungus? The difference. I don't fungus know. Resolution is picked oh, off. My. Believe oh, he gets Mac though from the low ground. A little bit longer, Weaver. Oh. And brought down with the burst. Not able to get time lapse off again. And that's actually rough. something to keep in mind as far as if even if he gets an axe, that actually makes it more difficult in that situation to get off time lapse uh, on yourself. Exactly. And they're just going to run bull rush down bottom from middle. Yeah. Resolution's going to be forced flip? to buy back here. I, mean, you, you, I don't think you can wait. They're just going to give up two racks, because that's what's going to happen, even if he buys back now. Alright, Burrow Strike. Not going to do much. Misery. Lincoln Burrow. I mean, yeah. oh, he's going in. Misery's going back. And he's going in. He's not doing any damage, though, through that Winter's Curse. But they're going to find a kill on the Omni Knight, who doesn't get off his ultimate. Fortunately for them, Envy is just focusing on the racks. <laughs> Objective-based gaming. This is non-Cloud9, ladies and gentlemen. He has learned his lesson. Just gonna run away. It's a one for one, support for support, vacuum wall onto two, a concoction as well. Faceless void, my god, that actually breaks the server with that many illusions. It's insane. That's three dead with a buyback now from DC. Three. Another concoction now onto Terrorblade. Sunder is off and he uses it onto Weeha, who's brought down shortly after from the Fate Bolt, and he's forced to buy back into the game. NP just stomping DC yet again. 20 kill lead for them. And they can just back up and reset. Wow. NP looks uh, pretty pretty good. And yeah, DC pretty, looks yeah, pretty good. not too good. Yeah, they look just god awful. <laughs> and I'm a they look like <laughs> Yeah, they look like there's trash cans and recycle bins, and they are <laughs> they're recycle bins. Boot camp started today and well, that's good. You yeah. should probably give them a boot in their ass then, I don't know. <laughs> But it is, it is elimination mode. After it is, all. but Anything it is can their first well. official. Technically, on this new patch and new season, they are zero and one in matches. That's true. I think we've actually lost uh, had the decay as far as rank. Yeah, Gosu gamers, your Gosu gamers yeah. ranking's done. Dunzo, man. How many points do you lose from from this match? Uh, 
I think NP is actually reasonably high now because they've been winning all those like qualifiers, so probably not much. You're lucky. Uh oh. It's all about the ranking, guys. Yeah. Soxa scouts out the Terror Blade, and he better get the heck out. Man, he's had a really, really rough game. Two and nine. Um, Soul Ring, Tranquils. He'd really like to have a blink. If he had a blink, his ultimates would crush. Terror Blade will just melt anybody on the other on his own team. Really will. Now, I wonder if they're just going to nice split push bottom by Misery. Make it so someone might have to react to this. But they look like they're content just five manning straight down top. Right, we have an Ag soon. Maybe Ooh. now, actually. No. Nope. He's missing the point booster. Where is that point booster, Weeha? Going to the enemy secret shop. Which is smart, they have to. They're all over there. Oh. Envy actually TP'd back bottom. They don't even want to take top yet. Take it nice and slow. Furrier is in the enemy secret. There we go. All right. Okay. So Ag yeah, I mean, it has to be. It's definitely Sand King. Yeah. And then, it's just not even that good on anyone else besides like half of Weaver. And it's good on Wall. Late game, I guess. It is. I mean, this is kind of late game because, like yeah. you said, Terrible is six slotted already. Yeah. But that's that's actually a tough choice because Weaver. He's been dying himself, so maybe it's oh, not they're going to in. get Ags on him. Yeah, Weaver, oh boy, he time lapses now. Concoction will not hit thanks to the Lincoln, Ooh. and a four step mitigates a lot of the damage from the epicenter combo, and the stolen uh, Burrow strike from Rubik is so dirty. Curse, curse, I just heard it. I didn't see anything happen, though. There's yeah, a stun of the Omni Knight, so. and there's the server breaking illusions. That's two dead in NP's favor. We have four step. Oh, that was actually stolen. Oh boy. That is rough. And Alchemist cannot do anything. Just gonna get right click down. It's likely gonna be GG. That's a good game. Wow. I like the the little play. The uh, Venge was repelled during the Winner's Curse, so he didn't get affected by it. And he just mowed everyone down. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that was. We get slack. <laughs> NP. I never agreed to this. I think that's Not actually happening. a plus. You want to get rid of it. Maybe that's why you guys lost. <laughs> they threw to get rid of slacks. 